What is up guys? So I spent the past, I don't know, a few few weeks trying to rebuild my car. I uploaded the video. I spent so long and I couldn't have done it without so many people. Um, Nick from NG Visuals, uh, my buddy Kenny, dirt gang, but what? Um, no, but seriously, like that whole process couldn't have been done without my cousin Jason, um, JP Fiberglass, and uh, who else helps? They're forever grateful. My car is finally like looking good. But like, that's not necessarily why I'm talking to you. I wanted to give you like a full round update. Like my life has completely shifted and it's the coolest thing ever. Um, so like I started to write this thing. I, I wanted to make that video kind of like a summary of what I was going, uh, what I've been going through. I didn't find a space for it. Like I, I, I made the video and it was very flowy and I spent a lot of time mixing music and I wanted to use specific songs for specific reasons to prevent, like to pr portray a specific um, message on like, yeah, like, even though I'm trying and I'm tr I've always been trying for the past three years, like sometimes trying causes damage and music based around being torn on like, am I a good person or like, am I doing this for the, am I doing this for the right reasons? So basically, like a lot of things, things has changed, have changed. Um, long story short, I'm I re sprayed my car, rebuilt. I didn't really build it, but I retouched, made it look good again um, for the event we're hosting, Clutch King Cancer, August 25th. Um, it's our first co-host, or we're co-hosting with Racing and. I can go into so many different stories on like what this like what the last couple weeks have been but it's it's been it's been crazy and I, I wrote something I wrote something down to do like a voiceover within yesterday's video but um, I just couldn't find a space for it and I really wanted that I think it was a completed project and I didn't want to taint it a lot of times I'll talk too much or or have like a perfect vision and I just have like an afterthought and it just messes with with my original my original vision. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't, that video was straight. I sat down, right? I sat down and I was thinking on like what the last six years looked like. Um, and I wrote like I simply wrote like six years ago I was lost. I didn't know what I was doing in life. To be honest, I don't. I still don't. I said. Um, and this is like my working journey, like my life, like outside of YouTube, everywhere. Um, I says I worked in, as a mail clerk delivering mail. It was my first real job. Prior to that, I was on my own tattooing. I remember my first interview for the job. I watched the last scene of Pursuit of Happiness and thought to myself, this is going to be me. I envisioned myself being successful, finding success. I just didn't know how to get to it. A year later, we found out we were having a baby, Lena. Uh, for the first year, first year Lena was born, I felt lost. I felt like I wasn't going to do anything special with my life. I felt like I was supposed to be someone. And at the time, I worked my way up within the company I was working f for. So I worked for Rico. It was like a, pr a business uh, it was a business solution company. Basically, we provided a service for printers, copiers, plotters, everything that has to do with printing in theory. Because I didn't know what I wanted, I truly was lost. Before then, tattooing was all I knew. And I, and I no longer tattooed. And I started to play around with Illustrator. I wanted to start my, my clothing brand. That was in 2013. But I didn't, but I didn't know how to. Because the clothing brands are so, it's so hard to start because you have to invest so much money and there's no guarantee that your ideas are good or your your vision is straight and I'm still learning like I still find myself like trying to, to shift into a better direction I did like a few runs prior to that and I always lost money like I always dumped a bunch of money into like my clothing and then I would just like like just I would, wouldn't sell anything and I would just be bummed out this is around like when Lena was like one and it says another year passed for some strangers and I wanted to start a YouTube channel I was so fascinated by it. It gave me a feeling of purpose again. With everything I had, I uploaded as many videos as I possibly could. And I did. We 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 were at like over 600 videos. I put in the work. Like I've tried my hardest to put as much content out and always push forward and never give up. And I I never will and I never have. 
and whether I'm uploading videos or making products or designing, I'm always working on something. I'm always trying to progress. And it says, with ups and downs, I decided to go for it. My all time dream, what I really wanted to do, I'm gonna start my clothing brand. And this is how I got started, just simply going for it. I wrote this, <clears throat> again, to do like a voiceover for the video, but um, I feel like it's just better to, to sit down and talk to you guys to show you where I'm at. And I wrote, uh, this story can go many ways. It's hard to encompass six years of nonstop searching, looking for success in any way I could. During that time, I was, I was always trying to reach out to different companies to work with, and I've always loved collaborating, knocking on doors time and time after again. I started working with a few companies. It took me almost two years to get my foot in the door, but I knew all I needed was a toe. This is where it brings up where I'm at in life, it's pretty cool. Um, so I was able to actually leave my job at corporate America, doing business work, running reports, doing basically slamming keyboards nonstop, always getting yelled at, always getting um, just constant pressure between your your client and your management, and you're just stuck in the middle. And I was a supervisor for a specific location, and. Um, I was always like torn because I never, this wasn't, it was never my, I knew it was never my, it wasn't, I knew it wasn't my calling in life. And for the longest time, I mean, I think three years ago, a year before I started YouTube, I knew I, it wasn't what I wanted to do. I just didn't know how to get out of it. And I didn't know where to go from, you know, from all I know and my only opportunity. I, like after a while I didn't I stopped writing and I didn't know what to say because though I never and I don't want to get like short like cut it short because I'm still gonna make videos but though we never became successful on YouTube such a beautiful thing came out of it I was able to leave where I was at and take a position as in theory, a creative director and a content creator and a social media marketing specialist at a beautiful company in Raysang. It's pretty cool because I've worked with them for like three years and now today was my first day and it was so cool. And it's one of those situations where you just know everything aligned perfectly. Everything happened and aligned the exact way it was supposed to. So I'm now in the position where my full-time job, though it's not YouTube, my full-time job is to create content. And that's where I've always wanted to be and that's a dream come true. Um, to work on videos, photography, brand building, brand language, product placement, like product development. And it's such a cool experience to be within a group of guys that are extremely educated and know product and know the industry. Racing is a, a company that manufacture automotive um, racing parts. They are heavily into shift knobs, tow hooks, um, they do some pulley systems and they're getting into l titanium lug nuts, um, steering wheels and it's exciting like it's the coolest thing ever and I'm just so blessed to be in that position where now I'm doing something I love for a living. Not, not many people get that opportunity. I didn't think I was ever gonna get that opportunity. I felt that I was gonna somehow just hustle. And it's like the whole concept is like, like working hard doesn't give you really what you want. It usually gives you what you need. It's just like everything just aligned and I understand and it's just the beginning. Today was my first day. And, you know, anything could happen, but I'm just so thankful to be in the position that I am in and be able to create awesome stuff and continue to get better on a daily basis. I mean, even today I spent, I think like five hours editing a video at work, at work. And it's the coolest thing ever. Like I'm able to do this as a full-time gig, well as continue to do this. I want to get back into it. Um, I've just been really hustling with this product line that we're about to come out next month. 
Um, so it's like really, really cool. It all started with like me knocking on doors. I kept pushing. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to go out with go out without swinging. Like I wanted to swing as hard as I could and swing for the fences and try to to get somewhere in life because we we don't have much. You know what I mean? We weren't. We don't come from <clears throat> from great opportunity. We, everything Monica and I, I have, we've we've worked our way up, and we're I'm 26, she's 25, and we've worked for everything. Everything I have is I traded this to get this, I sold that to get that, or I worked up and you know risked it. Like I got new cam, like the amount of camera gear I got for the first couple years, like it was a risk. I spent all this money and in, in not knowing that if it was going to be successful, if it was going to be worth it. And I just want to sit down with you guys because it's, it's, I'm never going to stop. And like, I know you guys know this, but it's just so cool to finally be here and be where I want it to be. And, and somehow, literally by the grace of God, I've been in this, I've gotten to this position where I'm creating I'm creating on a daily basis because that's what makes me happy. Like creation, product, product, building products, designing, video editing, coming up with concepts. I never want to quit and I never want to stop. And I might slow down. I might take a little break um, and spend some time with the family because I try so hard to balance everything. Like the whole concept, my concept is balancing life and trying to find your cause, that's basically it. That's that's real rap, real rap, rap, raw. I met some cool people, some cool people from this, this, this channel. Like one of my freaking great friends, like just recently, uh, my homie Kenny. We just kick it and we vibe on real, uh, almost the same exact frequency. And it means to have a friendship like that, that technically came from YouTube. He just happened to be local. like this you don't find that often and it wouldn't <clears throat> it wouldn't be if it wasn't for youtube or even making videos it doesn't have to be on youtube if it wasn't for this i wouldn't i wouldn't have had that opportunity career friendship oppor like all around opportunities this space my my production room i would have never dug deep into this, built, raising money for St. Jude's for clutch kicking cancer. Like, there's so many opportunities that would have never happened if I would have never started a YouTube channel. And I'm just blessed. I'm thoroughly happy and I can't, like I don't know how to, to, yeah, I don't know. But I just wanted to make this quick update video. I will be posting more. And go check out Ray Sang's YouTube channel because that content will be coming from me from now on. So um, I'm excited. Check out their Instagram as well. Wow, I know so much. What do you think about the new quality? Is it cool? This is my new camera. It's really weird because I'm I don't have a screen. I can't see if I'm recording right now. <laughs> yeah, we got some dope. We got some dope stuff. We got freaking chains now. Like the whole my homie in you. Like I named the menu. He's like a spiritual. It's my spirit animal. <laughs> He's a. Uh, I don't know, he's just like my, my Mickey Mouse. But we got a lot of cool stuff. Bags, a whole new line of shirts. We're bringing back the striped shirt from last month's drop just because I really like it. Somehow it stopped recording. My memory card got full. But anyway, I was saying I'll bring back the striped shirts and because we didn't make enough and I really like the shirt. So, um, but yeah, I just want to wrap up this video, guys. I love you so much. Happy freaking Tuesday. I probably missed something, but I want to make more content. It'll come soon, I promise. And thank you for watching. It means the world. We freaking did it. We made it. And just, we have such a long journey to go. And it's so cool because it's amazing on the difference in two years. What life can, or even four years. Because I've been, yeah, it's crazy. So, holla at your boy, guys. I love you so much. Happy freaking Tuesday, man. Holla at your boy. Traveling through the infinity, uh You not that nigga pretend to be, uh All that bullshit do not get to me, uh I am spirit and entity, uh You don't wanna suck on my energy, uh I am the realest insanity, uh You pussy ass niggas fucking suck You sound the same, I spit the pain That's why the young niggas feel the same They know I bang I pull a fucking pistol out the range and act insane